Hi there, welcome to Euston Station for the start of a Scotland adventure. Over the next three weeks, we'll be taking you with us as we embark on an incredible journey of the highlands and islands of Scotland. Company in the water is lovely! From conquering the iconic Ben Nevis, the highest mountain in the UK, my little legs just can't to exploring the mesmerising landscapes of the tiny island of Barra. Welcome to our little house on wheels. And its one-of-a-kind airport. I literally just look down the runway. But before we dive into these epic adventures, we need an amazing ride to get us there. Today we're going to be getting the Caledonian sleeper all the way up from here in London Euston to Fort William in Scotland. Cheers. Cheers. This amazing overnight train offers incredible food. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Comfortable beds and a peaceful night's rest. And when we wake up, the most stunning landscapes await us as we enjoy a delicious breakfast on board. I've never done a sleeper train of any description. Oh, I've done a sleeper train before, but that was when I was 12. The, the sound of the wheels while you're sleeping, it's gonna be good. So join us as we spend 12 hours traveling up the country aboard this magnificent service. I can get used to this. We're actually here a lot later than we should have been. Um, our captain train uh, for South Wales is uh, like an hour and a half late, so it shouldn't be dark now when we arrived. No, um, but that's what you do. This is why Joe plans everything <laughs> to the nth degree so that we have time. Yeah. See, we're not rushed. We're not running around like headless chickens trying to find our platform. No, that's another video. So you tuned for that one? <laughs> tuned for that one. Oh, there's a train here. We uh, booked the double room which is the most expensive room you can get on the sleeper and it does come with uh, access to the first class lounge. First so, class lounge? I'm going to get used to this lifestyle, my love. Yeah, unfortunately we're not going to spend as much time in there as we were going to, but um, I think we can just pop in and have a look around, have a cup around. of tea. A cup of tea and snacks. Yeah. Cool, well let's go. Houston Station first opened in 1837 to provide train services towards Birmingham. The station has been expanded and rebuilt several times, with the current building being constructed in the 1960s. It is currently being developed further to accommodate the new high-speed train line. The First Class Lounge, which is run by Avanti West Coast at Easton, is located on the upper floor. You are granted access if you have a double or a club ticket, but we'll get into ticket types later in the video. Got a sleeper ticket? For the... Sorry? For which? That one is actually boarding now. Oh, was it? I thought on, it was like 30 boards. Um, no, oh. they were boarding it earlier, but they've just taken the load out. Oh, okay. We've been boarding from that for one time. Fine, so. okay. Oh, that's a shame. Our <laughs> connecting train was late, so... <laughs> Never mind. I'm not sure how, how they board their trains and need to this, but I feel like it's it around there. Yeah, it doesn't leave for another hour, so... Yeah. I mean, yeah. Might as well have a look. Yeah. Thanks. The lounge has a good choice of seating and offers complimentary food as well as hot and cold drinks. But alcohol is at additional cost. I decided to grab some olives and a scone with cream and jam. Fran opted for a G&T. G&T. G &T. <laughs> Will be. <laughs> the shortest visit to a lounge ever. In, drink out. Well, let's go board our train. Thanks, babe. After an all too short visit, it's time to get on board. Our train is departing from platform one. So this train is like 18 carriages long or something crazy like that. William, that's nice. If you go to Coaches Town, I'll host you get your tickets on board. Great, thank you. You're welcome. Which coach are you travelling in? Um, you know what? It doesn't actually tell me on my ticket, so I'm trying to find that now. Name? Uh, oh, here we go. G. Coach G. Coach G. Okay. Oh, and G5 for me this evening. Yeah. Okay. So all the way down to Coach G, room number five. Your breakfast cards are in the room. If you can fill them out as soon as possible and just hang them on the door for me. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah, so Euston is far from the most glamorous station, but we'll be off this noisy platform soon. Yeah. Um, so remember we're in G5, not G3, not G7. On our last trip we had this habit of sitting in the wrong seat, but always by two. We always missed it by two. If it said 27 we'd be in 25. <laughs> 
It is pretty warm in here. So how does the aircon work? Can we turn that down? Let's start that. So, ooh. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's the room light. Okay. <laughs> and oh, oh, you can dim it. Ooh, room yeah. lighting. So we've got some controls. We've got some well, window light. We've got a host call. So you can actually call your host of a window, which <laughs> looks out onto the next train. Let's uh, maybe keep that closed for now until we pull out the station. Yeah. Uh, also, I didn't bring my wide angle lens, which I feel is, now is a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you're going to stay in the corner. <laughs> yeah, up here. Yeah, in the corner. It's the uh, estate agent angles. Yeah. When you're in the small room. <laughs> What's this? Oh, this is our room key. Mm. Oh, that's got a room service menu as well. Hand and body lotion, conditioning, shampoo, and, con and hand and body wash. And then there's, what is that? Pillow spray. Pillow spray? What is that Just in case you want to, to sleep on a wet pillow? No, I suppose it's got like lavender or something in it that uh, makes you sleep well. Alcohol. <laughs> it's got alcohol in it that makes you sleep well. And fragrance. Are you banging it and making the white stuff come out? Yeah, baby. It's, actually, it's quite luxurious, it's quite thick, which I like. In a cream. That's what it's supposed to be. Thick and creamy. Thick and creamy. We also get this cute little journey of a nighttime pack. Enjoy the most civilized way to travel between London and Scotland. Sleep peacefully as the moonlit world slides by and wake up refreshed, relaxed, and ready to go. I'm turned into a poet now. <laughs> <laughs> like reading other people's poems. <laughs> right, so in here we have a, a sleeping mask and some earplugs, which I think might come in handy. That's a big piece of that's, that's exactly. I'm, hang on, I need to unfocus your face. The packet makes it look like it should be white, though, doesn't it? Yeah, because the blue and white. And the blue and the white. <laughs> but it says 31% cocoa, which means it's definitely not white chocolate. And it does say milk chocolate on it. Yes, that too. Okay, breakfast. I'm going to go for the hot smoked salmon frittata with grilled tomatoes and a chai of hollandaise. I might go for the traditional Scottish breakfast. doesn't say what it has, but... Traditional Scottish breakfast, we're going to Scotland. And then should we eat it in the club car? Yes. Well, it's exclusively served in the club car. Well then we have to. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm hungry. Should we get dinner? Yeah, let's go get dinner. Feed! Oh let's just walk in a direction and we'll find it. Let's go that way. As we attempt to find the club car. Let's look at what other accommodation is on offer and how much they cost. Our double room is the most expensive room type on offer. A full journey from London to Fort William for two people costs around £480. The next step down is the club room, which contains two bunk beds, an ensuite shower and toilet, and starts from around about £300. Do you want to go? No, 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 it's Alright, we had the same argument. We did. Then there is the classic room with two bunk beds but no ensuite for around £210. Yeah, it's not the deal now. It's Okay, so this club car's too full. Maybe we should try the other one. Back down the train we go. They also offered accessible double and twin rooms for £210 for two people. These have more floor space which are perfect for passengers in wheelchairs or who have additional needs. 
Finally, you can get a seat starting at £55 per person, making it the most economical way to travel, if not the most comfortable for a 12 hour journey. Seated passengers cannot access the club car, but you can order food to your seat instead. This service is very popular and fills up early, so always book ahead to avoid disappointment. You can also use a rail card to gain discounts on some classes of travel, but the rules are complicated, so do check before you book. Do note that prices will vary, they do go up and down. Ah, here's the other club car. This one isn't as full. All passengers with a room ticket get access to the club car lounge, but club and double passengers do get priority. I haven't seen you guys, have I? No. So, what would you guys like? Can I get the cock a leaky chicken? Cock a leaky chicken, yep. And can I get the cod loin with anchovy butter? Any drinks at all, guys? So, I'm going to try a whiskey. Well, let's go for the tomato. The tomato. So, one tomato, and what about yourself, sir? Uh, the peanut brito. Peanut brito? Yep. Yeah. Footstep peanut brito? Yeah. With our dinner orders placed, we pull out of the station and start our journey north. Caledonian sleeper departs London Euston at 9.15pm and travels north along the West Coast Main Line. Calling at Watford Junction, Crewe and Preston before reaching Edinburgh where the train divides into three portions. One goes to Aberdeen, another to Inverness, but our portion takes us via Glasgow along the banks of Loch Long and Loch Lomond and the foothills of the western Grampian Mountains. We'll arrive into Fort William after a total journey time of 12 hours and 45 minutes. It is Friday night, so I don't know, people, I don't know, the people that come from Scotland to London for the week and then go home on the sleeper to work. Oh, so there must be something to do there. Weekend? Yeah, that's cool. Like, like us. Like us? Yes. Probably quieter on the weekday. Also, we just like we're in the wrong club now. We're in the port of Inverness, we're supposed to do it. We should be in the football game then. But she said as long as we've gone by the time we get to Edinburgh in about six, seven hours time. I will definitely be sleeping by then. Yeah, 100% sleeping. Ah, drinks have arrived. Cheers. Cheers. What's that face about? This is very sweet. Oh, okay. So like, when I drank whiskey before, I drank the cheese. <laughs> with like, not, uh, not as proper stuff. This is my mum would like this. By the time dinner arrived, a seat had opened up on the stools, so we moved over there instead. It does look lovely, doesn't it? It's got broccoli on it, I know, it's okay. Oh, yeah. 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 That was yum. Um, it was a bit warm and had some chilli in it, which is hot. You can get used to this sipping on whiskey. Whiskey? I've been being on a train. That too. I'm not driving, babe. That's like massive. And I don't mind driving, but I think since Charlotte, I I want to drive long distance in a nice car. Well, like an automatic Mustang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or an F-150. <laughs> I feel like that would also be nice. Uh, next time we go to America, we we'll get an F-150. Yes. Yes. Whilst Fran ordered a late night cup of tea, tea. I decided to give a whiskey a go. Different. 
really different. It's like sharper. Oh, interesting. Maybe because it's a tenure. McToots dumpling. Yeah. It's a traditional Scottish clutie dumpling. I mean, I don't even know what that is. Served with warm, served warm with a whiskey flavored anglaise. So basically, a whiskey custard. Yeah. So it's probably similar to the thing that we um, set fire to one time. Do you remember when we did that? We made a whiskey sauce. Oh, oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> It's like got a whole bunch of dried fruit in it. It tastes like Christmas pudding. I mean, to be honest, it looks pretty similar to Christmas pudding. Oh, so good. So good. Okay, I need to try it now because I've been filming for three and a half minutes and I want to eat it. <laughs> See what you mean about Christmas pudding? It's really Christmas pudding. It's like stickier though. Yeah, sticky Christmas pudding. Yeah, because Christmas pudding does tend to fall apart. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I can could, I could feel my arteries clogging already. <laughs> that was like sticky toffee pudding on crack. They're good. We try we we were allowed to try them on the on the way back down. Oh really? Sort of, but they all that sell one. out. So it's a little tap there for the fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. After that delicious and filling meal, Thanks, it's time to retire back to our room. Wait. Wow, bubbly. I mean, I may have had some wine and some whiskey, but I could still walk straight, I think. <laughs> okay, it's time to go to bed. Just as we put into crew, I can see, oh, hello, person. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a touch of GoPro to a window. <laughs> Is there I a mean, person looking at us through the window? No, he didn't look at us. I just saw a person. You saw a person. There's a person. <laughs> I've had a lot of whiskey, so I'm going to go sleep now. You had a bit of whiskey. I, had a, I mean, yes, yes, I had a bit of whiskey. Not I had some whiskey and some wine. Yeah. Mm. I mean, even the camera's blurry. I think the camera's tired. I think we should go to sleep. I think it's sleepy time. Yeah. Train at Edinburgh. France test in the shower. I'm not hearing yelps or screams, so it's probably not cold. <laughs> it's probably alright. It's cold. Hi. It's like the winds of blood stuff where you have to push it all the time. That's fine. And, um, and it's even on the Todd cycle, it's, it's chilly. That might be because of 
everyone else is showering up too. How did I sleep? Um, I mean, I was horizontal, so that was a good thing. It's not, it's not like sleeping on a plane, but it, it was quite loud. And even though I used the earplugs, I think it's not the, it's, you know, every time it goes over a bump, do you see that? Like that? It's like, and it's not consistent. So I think my sleep is just a little bit broken. Still better than sleeping in a chair though, I can say. I love Scotland. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Is it time for tea yet? Almost. <laughs> For breakfast with a view, I ordered the hot smoked salmon frittata. Spring onions and egg and salmon. The... I went for the Scottish breakfast, which consisted of a lawn sausage, black pudding, bacon, haggis frittata, tomato, and potato cake. Mm. That is a good, good sausage. That lawn sausage is great sausage. Yeah, but it's like you can tell it's like almost home-ish made. It's not like made by a Yes. That's good black pudding. I'm quite happy. Breakfast with a view, eh? Before we knew it, we were approaching our final destination. And we had a nice surprise when we stepped off the train. <laughs> after a travel train journey and we've gone back in time about 100 years. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally okay with that. I mean, look at it. It's a beast of a machine. It's awesome. There's another lounge at Fort William which is open for arriving passengers in double and club rooms only. Hey. Hey. Okay, just take a seat anywhere. It's table service. Oh, okay. So I'll come and see you. Okay? Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Here you'll also find showers, in case you didn't fancy taking one on the train. Time for a nice cup of tea before we head off to our cute little B&B. So there we are, we've arrived. After a nice cup of tea and a view of a steam train. <laughs> the steam train was awesome. Looked into that, we're totally doing that next time we come here. And I mean, it's Scotland, so we're definitely going to be coming here again. Yeah, that was a nice journey. It was good. Yeah. Just going to relax for a day now because tomorrow we're climbing Ben Nevis, which is going to be stressful. Oh, well, it's behind there. Behind that, that isn't it. It's behind. No. You can't see it. It's over there. That way. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and so that you'll be notified when we release the video where we climb it. And um, we'll see you next time. <laughs>